the uh, team from Coast Luke Barbecue and Frank Fabrici, who is uh, uh, basically the original owner, now the CEO. Frank, 60 years. Why do you think people love Coast Luke Barbecue so much? Because of the pro product mainly, service, and we stuck to one item, chicken. And I think you set the, the mode now that you're kind of semi-retired, but the people who've taken over from you, you, you run this place right from the kitchen. For years, people remember you and your, your white outfit in the back. You were hands-on, taking the orders, making the chicken. I guess that's what also how you can owe uh, the success of this place. Yes, I made sure that everything was right. The customer got the good service. All right, and over here is uh, Johnny and Sean, who started off here as youngsters, uh, you know, uh, as uh, working in the in the place, and uh, and uh, took over uh, as owners in recent years. Uh, Johnny, first of all, tell us some of the reasons why people love Coast Luke Barbecue. What are the what are the favorite items that people love here to come every week? Well, the favorite item obviously is the chicken, uh, the barbecue, the way we barbecue. They say they can never do it at home like we do it here. Uh, they get to see us, they get to talk to us. Uh, while we're working in the kitchen, a lot of people come and see us in the kitchen. They like that one-on-one -on -one factor and we give them the time, no matter how busy it is. They might be at six o'clock on a Sunday. We get them the time to say hello. It's that extra, extra little topping that we give to their experience when they come here, be it here or the dining room. Uh, we may not come in the dining room often, but people come and see us and they like that. I think a lot of restaurants are missing that. Uh, Frank developed that uh, years and years ago and us being working side by side, people recognized us too, a byproduct of Frank. Mm -hmm. And when we did buy the place, people were saying, my God, it was an easy transition from Frank to us, uh, obviously, uh, from all the experience we gained working here day in and day out. So what can we look forward to for the 60th anniversary celebrations at this Cote St. Luke Road location? Well, we're inviting everybody here. Uh, basically, it's to give back to our loyal customers and the new customers and, and to tell them that, you know, we do appreciate their business. And these days, it's so easy to switch to another restaurant. But uh, the main thing is to give back. We're all give, offering uh, quarter leg meals for $6.99 and birthday cake on us. And we will have daily uh, prizes drawn, gift baskets, uh, gift certificates. And uh, everybody will be contacted if they do win. And like I said, just the experience of coming in and celebrating with us our 60 years of uh, success. Okay. And hopefully another 60 years to go. All right. And your partner, Sean, uh, Sean Finley, who uh, went up to school at Marymount uh, and then uh, came, started working here at the age of 15 years old. That's quite an association with this place. It sure is. Um, you know what? Uh, I went to school, up, like you mentioned, up at Marymount. And we used to come down here for fries. And uh, it's where uh, I actually gave my CV in. And, uh, I spoke with Frank and he needed me for the weekends and that's basically where I started. A little work in the mornings and uh, started working with the chicken and took it from there. And right now you still see the Marymount kids coming in here for their sure, fries and chicken. Yeah, I sure do. Now they're coming in. Now we've upgraded a little bit. It's not just the fries, but it's the potins too. And uh, they, they, they love it. They come down here and they come see us at it every time at lunch. Your menu has expanded over the years. It's not just the chicken and fries anymore. You've got other items. Why don't you tell me about some of the others that have become popular over the years? Yep. Yeah. We've, um, other than the original trick, and of course, that uh, is our biggest hit, we have uh, we've upgraded to club sandwiches and um, also uh, our wings, our fillets, and our, uh, our potins. They're just really good, and uh, they're hitting not just the, uh, the, uh, the older people, but the younger people are just loving that we have this big variety of all the different meals. All right, now we move to the West Island, and Tony Cachese, who uh, runs the Dollar de Zormo Cote St. Luke Barbecue. Uh, Tony, we were talking before, the, the name Cote St. Luke Barbecue, it's, it's got quite a history, and uh, it's also got uh, quite a connection to the people on the West Island. Well, obviously, uh, I, I learned that and seen it on first hand uh, when we first acquired the restaurant back in uh, 1997, is that many of our customers, a lot of our clients, are attached to the, to the location on uh, Cote St. Luke Road. And uh, very often there's clients, even from Cote St. Luke Road, that come to our uh, location and who are from, you know, week to week, their families, their kids, they get together and they either come and visit their parents that are in the West Island. And, uh, you know, on the way there, they, they stop off at a restaurant, pick up a family pack and enjoy the same uh, type of quality of uh, product that uh, they offer at Cote St. Luke Road. So uh, that's how uh, I was astonished to see that the, the resemblance in the, from our, uh, our different clientele, which are uh, from the Cote St. Luke and Hampstead and Westmount area that 
migrated to the to the West Island, and and we've also expanded our territory there uh, to Dorval, uh, uh, Ville Saint Laurent, all the way up to uh, past the uh, Boulevard Saint Charles, and we've got we cater to all the West Island delivery there, pickup. All right, in uh, June 2013, you'll also be celebrating the 60th anniversary of various That's uh, correct. We're happy to start it, uh, and we're eager to start uh, the campaign. Uh, we're going to be doing something very similar to the uh, confrères here on Côte Saint-Luc Road. We're going to be offering some prizes, instant prizes for uh, clients to come in. And uh, once uh, we're going to be offering at, uh, at the end of uh, each month, we're going to be offering a free uh, iPad uh, to our uh, clients so they can start uh, using them to uh, start our new uh, service, uh, which could be ordering online services uh, from Côte saint Barbecue and the West Island on EDO. Okay, terrific. Frank, I have one last question for you, and that is uh, there's two solid franchises now, two very successful franchises. You're the man someone would come to if they wanted to open another. In the future, could we possibly see a third Côte saint Barbecue somewhere in Montreal, do you think? I think so. Big possibility. And, and uh, I'm sure over the years, how many people could you count on on more than two hands come to you and say, I'd like to open one up? Yeah, a lot of people have come to you over the time and asked you for that opportunity? Yes, yes I did. At least a couple of dozens. But you're very selective, right? Yes. And, and just, I guess, in conclusion, tell us why you're so selective. It's because it's uh, not easy. People see that we're doing a good business and think that it's easy to open a restaurant. But once they do open, it's not the same. All right. Thank you very much and good luck.